Greetings and welcome to a new video. Since many of you asking me about this problem with the latest beta for the parent jailbreak, that is uh, beta 6.2, that when you jailbreak your device with the root full method, and when you try to install a package manager like Cilio or Zebra, be it on iOS 15.7.5 or 16.4.1 or up, you are getting this error message install failed status 256. So in this video, we will talk about the possible solutions that you can use to fix this problem and jailbreak your device. Most importantly, I did not encounter this problem myself. I was able to jailbreak using the rootful method on iOS 16.4.1 just fine. If you want to check it out on how to do it, the guide is in the description. You can do it right on your Windows computer. Now, as you can see this message on your screen, this message was officially announced in the official discuss server for the parent jailbreak. So this means that it is a known issue with the latest beta for the parent jailbreak that is currently beta 6.2. So this error will be fixed in beta 7. But as I said before, I haven't encountered this error myself. But if you are getting this error, you can either use the beta 6.2 as rootless or you can downgrade to beta 5 or you can use beta 5 build. Please keep in mind that if you use beta 5, iOS 16.4 jailbreak support was not there in beta 5. Of course, it will work on 15.7.5. So I will show you how to get beta 5 if you are interested. All right, so if you are interested in using beta 5 for now, you can simply head to the official website for Pairing Jailbreak. Pairing Jailbreak is completely free for everybody. And then hit downloads and scroll down and you will see older releases. Hit it and you will see beta 5 here. Now you can scroll down and get the builds for macOS from here or Linux for beta 5. Also, if you are interested in using Palenix, that is the USB flash drive that you create for Windows, you can simply head to uh, downloads. And then if you are viewing this website on Windows, you will see Palenix here and scroll down and hit Palenix. And from this page, if you scroll down, you will see version 1.0.8 that will reflect all or include all the changes that were made in beta 5 you can simply uh, get the iso file from here you will get the amd64 and then flash it using rufus sorbel and etcher now guys in the end if you ask about the best solution to this problem right now is to use the rootless method with the, the latest beta that is beta 6 because many tweaks are being updated to support the rootless method very fast. But if you are interested, I have shown you how to use the beta 5 build. That's all for this video, guys. If you have questions, please ask in the comments section. I will see you in a new video. Goodbye and take care.